followed, if we had placed the patients into their clinical prediction groups, um, there is a very large paper on plantar fasciitis, for instance, um, they would have been performing exercises that actually made them worse or had no effect. Um, same with the patient with the posterior tibialis, and um, she progressively got worse when we were loading her in a particular direction. If that had been an exercise that we had given her, say, with TheraBand resisting in all four directions, um, we would have potentially had the ability to worsen her through the exercise and may not have really noted that. Um, I've worked with several patients who have gone through therapies with, for other conditions or have come to our clinic looking for the MDT specialty um, after not doing well under different types of care. Um, and they were given so many different exercises and they didn't, couldn't even tell me which one made it worse. Um, but they just knew that they weren't better. Um, and I think if we're not looking for a directional preference, not everybody is a derangement. That's the other thing, too. We all write about the case reports and case series where everybody magically gets better in five or six visits. Um, but you first need to assess to see if they are a derangement, because if they are, they need the proper loading strategies. And you can't start working on strengthening or balance or anything else until they've been reduced. Just like with a lumbar patient, if you're still working on the reduction phase, you can't have them working on getting doing planks and getting strength if they haven't gone through the recovery process yet. Um, so I think a lot of times we see a diagnosis, we know that it's an ankle sprain or we think we know it's an ankle sprain. So we start to work on ice and edema and pain management. And then we start to do four way resistive bands and balance exercises and single leg stance on foam without ever seeing if there is actually a derangement present. Um, with this patient, if we assessed her and she wasn't a derangement, then yeah, we need to treat her as how she is presenting into one of the other categories. Um, but if they're presenting as a derangement, they need to be treated as such.